So you have all this amazing content on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and all the places, but now you need to figure out a way to bring people off of those platforms and onto your email list or get them to buy your products or book a call with you. So what do you do? Well, you're an entrepreneur after all, right? And your purpose in business is to make a profit, to have people buy your products and services. But with only one link available on most of these platforms, how can you direct people to multiple different places? Well, I wanna introduce you to a new platform that's going to make this even easier. This tool is called Snipfeed, and it's actually been acquired by Planoly. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set it up really simply and how it can work for you in your business. My name is Melissa Mitchell, and on this channel, I help entrepreneurs just like you use the power of YouTube to scale your business with best fit leads. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Let's jump over into the Snipfeed platform so we can walk through that together and show you exactly how to set it up. And I am currently just on the free account because I wanted to show you how you could set this up for free. So within Snipfeed, there are so many different things you can do, but on the free plan, you are obviously going to be a little bit more limited. So let's walk through the left-hand side dashboard here and see all the different features inside. So the first thing you're gonna click on is store. And this is where you can add your different products to your store to sell. So similar to the link it feature that we just looked at before, but this isn't kind of an all-in-one website site sort of approach that's all going to be connected with one super easy link. So if you click create a product, it's going to bring up the different options here that you can create products on. So what I love so much about this is that you're not tied to just using one kind of e-commerce product that's tied to your Instagram feed. You really can create products on anything and sell it. So you could create digital products, online courses, one-on-one -on -one consultations, um, tipping, live stream memberships you can create invoices. Like there are so many different options here. So let's just say digital product for now. And let's say that I want to sell my YouTube fast track toolkit. And here we can add an optional custom URL. So let's say YouTube toolkit. Okay. And then you could add a description. So maybe I want to say, Okay, so let's add that in there. Next, you can come down and add a thumbnail if you wanted to. You can also use different GIFs or Unsplash. So maybe let's just search for something simple here. Maybe I wanna use this one here. Perfect, you can now add in the pricing. So let's say it's $37 for this and you have all of your information in here. So you can say save and continue. Next, you can actually upload your content right into here, which is also super, super cool. So you could add in your content right like that. Once you have all your content loaded, you can just hit continue. You can create any active coupons. So maybe you wanted to have a 10% off coupon or a free trial. If you were doing a membership or anything like that, you could do that here. You can also create a custom confirmation email for your customers. And it'll say here that this is a pro setting, but what happens with with this is once someone purchases a customized email will go out to them with more information on how to actually use that product or that service or whatever it is that you wanted. You can also have customers rate your product or your service right here. And you can also connect Zapier so that you could integrate it with any other different marketing software that you had going on. And again, this is a pro feature. So once you were completed, you have everything set up for your digital product, you would just hit publish. And then it's going to say, how do you want it to appear on your page as one block or as part of a carousel? So for me, I'm going to say add as one block. Perfect. That is done. So now you'll see on the right hand side here, this is a preview of what your snip feed page is going to look like. So you have a join your email list here. And then down here, you have that YouTube fast track toolkit that I was looking to sell here. Now you can also change the appearance of what you want your blocks to look like. So right now it's a circle. You can actually change it to featured image, which is going to show the full thing here. And then a square thumbnail. So let's leave it as the square thumbnail for now. You can also add a call out button. So if you flip this on or off, you could say, join us here. And that's going to put that button right underneath there for you. So you could create different call out buttons for each thing. So now if I come back out here, we're back in the products page. You can continue to add new products as well if you have more products that you're wanting to sell. But let's move on over into the rest of the left-hand side toolbar. So if we go next to orders, this is where all of the orders are going to show up when people actually purchase the products that you add to your snip feed, okay? And then same thing with memberships. If you created a membership, this is where all of the sales for that will be. If you go one more down, you go to my page, this is where your actual page is going to be shown. So similar to what we were just looking at before, um, you can go and 
edit all of this different information. So at the top here is your page header. So if we click on here, we can actually upload a picture here. There we go. We can add our name in here. And again, we can add a quick little bio if we wanted to. The next thing that we can do is come back out to the page again so we can continue to customize this. So now I have my little bio there. I have my name. I have my picture right underneath it. There's this create your own snip feed page. Now we can actually edit this so we could make this whatever link we wanted. So again, if we wanted to send people straight to our website, we could do that. Add a title here. You could add a description here if you want to, or you could just leave that completely blank. And then again, you can add a call out button. There you go. And again, down here under the appearance, we can have the different options as well. So we could have a circle thumbnail, a square thumbnail, or a featured image, but I'm just going to leave it as text only. The last thing you can do is add an animation if you want. So we could bounce it in. So when someone clicks on it, it kind of bounces in fun, just like that. And then if we come back, out again, we can continue to make different changes to our feed here. So underneath here, we have join our email list. So if we were looking to build our email list through the link in our bio, then we could absolutely add this in here. So if we click into here, we can make some changes to this as well. We can change the title. We can change the button text. We can change what information we actually want collected from people. So we can change if we want the name, the phone number, and we want these all required. And then we can change the post submission message. So when someone actually submits their information, we can have a customized message go out. And then if we were having some sort of freebie delivered to them, once they added in their information, we could actually add that attachment here that would automatically go out to them um, through this as well. So this is a really simple way to take the place of an email marketing platform, especially if you were just getting started. So you want to think about what your marketing systems are currently or what your technology stack is currently and how you could use Snipfeed to add on to it or maybe streamline some of the things that you currently have. At the bottom here, you'll see that it does connect with MailChimp. So if that was the email marketing service that you used, you could connect that and integrate it all seamlessly. Whereas if you were using something different, like active campaign or maybe high level or click funnels or any of the other different software out there, you would want to use something like Zapier to connect this feature to Snipfeed to make sure that you are collecting your email addresses into your proper email marketing system. Okay. So keep that in mind when you are doing this. The other thing that you could do is just remove this mailing list feature altogether and just use links to your different lead magnets that would put people into your email marketing services that way. So again, you're going to want to think about what marketing stack you have and, and your overall marketing strategy and how you can integrate snip feed seamlessly to help you reach your goals. So you could just continue to go through here and add more and more different links and buttons as you wanted to. So you would come down to here and hit this plus button, and then it's going to pop up with all these different features. And this is what I think is so cool about Snipfeed is that the options are endless. So if you wanted to have a podcast preview, say you wanted to feature your latest episode every single week, you could come in here and add that. If you are on YouTube, right? Just like I am, I could actually have a video preview. So I'm going to add that in there and show you how this works because then you can draw traffic straight to one of your latest YouTube videos. So you could come in here and paste your YouTube link in there and it would populate on the actual preview. You'll see that now the preview is on my feed here. So the other thing you can do if you don't like the way that this is all structured or maybe you want it to be in different order, you can actually just come over to the bottom here and drag these up into different areas. So if I wanted my video preview to be at the top, I could do that. Then maybe I wanted my YouTube fast track toolkit to be right underneath that. Then the check out my services and then the join my email list at the bottom. So then you can restructure the way that that looks. I don't love that this is bouncing like that. So I'm just going to come back in to check out my services and change this to a none. There we go. So let's say that's exactly what I wanted to have 
on my snip feed. There we go. I can just come up to the top here and say share link and copy the link or generate a QR code and we can place those links or that QR code across all of our marketing collateral. So the link could go into all of the bios on our social media platforms. Maybe we are creating a presentation or some sort of lead magnet that we wanted to draw traffic back to this link. You could generate this QR code and put it on there as well. Or if you were giving some sort of keynote or speech or presentation, you could also generate a, a QR code for people to um, grab the link for this as well. So there are so many different options Options here and it is very very customizable the next thing that I want to show you here is the analytics so if you come over to the left hand side again this is going to show you the analytics of the actual link itself um, again this is going to be more of a pro feature for some of this stuff down here but again it's really cool because it's going to show you how many people clicked on each link maybe which offers are working better than others and that's going to allow you to adjust your marketing strategy accordingly also, you can look at earnings. So this is again, how much money are you making from the different products that you have within your snip feed? The last feature of snip feed that I want to point out. And again, this is going to be a pro feature is the marketing funnels. And so what's cool about this again, is that if you are just starting out and you wanted to have some automation happening within your business where people can fill out forms, maybe they get a, a text message from you, they get automated emails that are going out, they get certain things delivered to them at certain times. You can actually create all of that within snip feed without having to use another external tool. So there are so many different options within this software that I absolutely love. It's basically an all in one website, form builder, email marketing, automation tool that allows you to really create simple, simple funnels that can sell your products and services on autopilot. So definitely check out the pro feature to play around with the different automation tools within here. But on the free plan, you can still create that page, right? And that is going to be a really great starting ground. So this page that we talked about before, this is a really great starting place so that you can direct people to multiple different offers and multiple different pieces of content that you want them to watch all with one link. So definitely check the link below to grab your free trial of Planoly and your free trial of Snip Feed and get started playing around with this amazing new tool. So if you wanna learn how you can create content even faster, you wanna make sure to check out this video right here where I'm gonna break down how to use Planoly's AI feature to actually write your captions and your descriptions of your content super, super quickly. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. We'll catch you next week, bye.